Welcome to the Sage 200 Customer and Contacts to Salesforce Accounts and Contacts Template Configuration Video. The following video will assist you in the configuration and deployment of the BPA platform Sage 200 and Salesforce Tasks and the associated staging database. It will act as a companion to the documentation and will highlight aspects of the solution that will require alignment with your own systems. You will require the latest BPA platform installation, the Microsoft SQL Server Connector tool, Microsoft SQL Server 2012 or above to host the staging database, Sage 200 version 2017 onwards, the Sage 200 Connector Tool, the Salesforce Connector Tool, and a dedicated Salesforce user for BPA Platform. The BPA Platform related software can be downloaded via the partner area on the Codeless Platform's website. To obtain the template assets, please contact your account manager. Please note that if some customer and contacts from Sage 200 are already present in Salesforce, you will need to ensure they will not be duplicated by the template tasks. This is explained in the Data Field Mappings section of the documentation. We will start by generating the staging database. In our environment, we are using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Go to File, Open, and File. Then navigate to the folder containing the template assets and find B2C Staging DB v4 underscore 1 and click Open. Now click Execute. This will generate the staging database and tables as seen here. In BPA Platform, click the Tasks folder, then click the Import button. Navigate to the Assets folder and locate Salesforce and Sage 200 on premise accounts and contacts dot connection and click open. This will import the tool connections we require for this task template. Next, navigate to the Salesforce Connector tool. Find the connection named Salesforce and click Edit. At this point, you will need to enter your own Salesforce credentials. Once complete, click Test Connection to ensure the details are correct. Then click OK and OK again to close. Next, navigate to Data Connectors, Microsoft SQL Server Connector. Edit the connection named B2C Staging DB v4 underscore 1 accounts. Then go to the SQL Server Connection General Node. Here you will need to enter your own SQL Server credentials. Once complete, click Test Connection to ensure the details are correct. In the Database node, click Refresh Cache. If we look at the Business Object Designer tab, we can see all the objects used in this template. This tab requires no further configuration. Click OK, and in the pop-up, click Yes, then OK to close. Next, we will open the Sage 200 connector and edit the connection named Sage 200 Demo Company 1. Here, you will need to enter your Sage 200 credentials. Click OK and OK again to close. Click the Root Tasks folder and then click Import. Navigate to the Downloaded Assets folder 
and to locate Salesforce and Sage 200 on-premise, accounts and contacts, dot TKS, and then click Open. The tasks have now been imported. Expand the Salesforce and Sage 200 on-premise folder, and then accounts and contacts. Here we can see the set of tasks. Firstly, we need to ensure we have a call task user in BPA platform. Navigate to System, Users. We will open the call task user we have created previously. Your call task username needs to be entered exactly as shown here. And as shown, we have selected BPO Platform Authentication. Then on the Server Roles tab, select all the checkboxes to give full permissions. Click OK to save and close this window. We can now configure the Call Task tool. Navigate to Tools, Execute, Call Task. Edit the connection named Salesforce and Sage 200 on premise, Accounts and Contacts. Here you will need to enter the Call Task user and password you created previously. Open the Folder tab, expand the tree, and expand Codeless Platforms Templates, Salesforce and Sage 200 on-premise, and then click the Accounts and Contacts folder. Click OK, and OK again to close. This concludes the configuration. See the next video for a demonstration of the template functionality. And that's it for this video. If you require more details on this installation, please see the accompanying documentation or the tool white papers. If further assistance is required, please contact your account manager. Thanks for watching.